A device that can reduce fuel consumption and cut harmful emissions has been developed. Via Aquafuel, created by Nottingham engineers Robert Pearson and Frank Staples, was nine years in the making. Well, now they hope to meet Department for Transport officials to discuss how their invention could help reduce air pollution. Anna Gamlin went to find out how it works. What comes out of here is a burning debate among politicians and academics. But here in Nottingham, two men think they might just have the answer, and it fits in your car boot. We've been developing now for nine years and successfully running for two years in both diesel and petrol cars. Um, but obviously it's unique in the fact that actually it really does reduce fuel consumption and it really does reduce carbon emissions. Robert Pearson and his partner Frank Staples have developed a device which they claim almost halves fuel consumption but most importantly cuts carbon emissions by 40%. The secret? Well, it's in the name. So basically we put water into here uh, the water then goes through the electronics, then produces the, ga the gas, oxyhydrogen, then that oxyhydrogen is then sucked through this pipework and then into the front of the vehicle. Oxyhydrogen has no carbon content and Robert says his research shows the device significantly reduces emissions of dangerous nitrogen oxides too. But to turn water into fuel he needed help turning his idea into reality. Here has got all these thoughts and everything um, from onto paper and started experimenting and then slowly started doing drawings, designing the boxes and this is the fourth or fifth box. And Frank and Robert think it's the right one. They've got a UK patent and a meeting with the government to discuss taking their invention countrywide. Nottingham and Derby have been named among six cities in need of clean air zones in a recent DEFRA report. There'll be a consultation to discuss limiting emissions in their congested centres. The government has until the end of this year to come up with a plan to tackle the high levels of air pollution. But organisation Client Earth says more scientific research will need to be done before via aqua fuel can be part of these changes. Well, I think we just need to wait and see whether this technology works. Uh, we've seen in the past that technologies that we've been promised will deliver cleaner air haven't actually worked when they've been driven on the roads. So we remain sceptical, but I think what this does show us is we know we have a huge problem with air quality in many cities in the UK. What we need is new technologies, we need innovation, but we have to make sure that they actually deliver for us. Delivering change is on everybody's agenda, and these inventors have set their sights high, hoping to help change the world one car at a time. <coughs> Hannah Gamlin, ITV News, Nottingham. Taxi driver.